how to create word search puzzles for your Amazon KDP book. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create word search puzzles very easily with free softwares without having to download anything at all and keeping it low content. So let's get into it. First off, we're going to select our template. So that's going to be the size of your book, depending on whatever size you want. I'm going to go with six by nine. You're going to select the number of pages. So since this is a crossword or um, a word search book, you're not going to have that many pages, maybe 30 pages. I think that's more than enough. And then you're going to select your paper color. So I would say you should go with white. Um, cream color is all right as well, but it's not as good. Um, I think white is usually the safest and the best option. Once you do that, you're just going to download the cover template. Now, what the cover template is going to look like is this. So you can see over here, this is the template that's going to get downloaded for you. And this is going to provide you with a base work to work on. So this is going to show you how your book is going to look, where the margins are, and how you're going to design it over this template. So once you have this downloaded, you're going to head on over to Canva. Now, first, I'm actually going to show you how to create the internal crossword or word search pages. And then I'm going to tell you about how to create your book cover. So first, we're going to create our internal pages and now to create your crosswords a lot of people on youtube are gonna recommend you this software it's called crossword express it's a good software you can do a lot with it i think it's absolutely not worth it if you're trying to create a low content book you don't want to put in so much effort and have to do so much to get a crossword or word search puzzle that's why i would say if you're creating a low content book stay clear of this software it's too difficult to use it's too difficult to set up and it's gonna waste a lot of your time it's gonna take you like three hours to set this up and that's a lot of time that you could be doing something else so I would actually recommend that you go to puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com and this is a free website. It's absolutely and totally amazing first off because this is online so you don't have to download anything and you can see on this page you're just going to click on word search at the top. Once you do that, you're just going to enter a title for your puzzle. So let's just say we want to name our first puzzle on our book is going to be about maybe colors. So you're going to do that and then you're going to select the size of your puzzle. So uh, maybe you want your first puzzle to not be that difficult. So you're going to make it 12 by 12 because that's like a little bit less than the standard cross of word search puzzle. And then you're going to select what kind of letters you want. So if you want to use one letter once, if you want to use the same letters over again, and if you want to share the letters as much as possible. So this means, uh, for example, if we have the word generate and the word eat. So the word eat could be made using the E from generate and so on and so forth. And let's just keep it as share letters occasionally. Then you're going to select if you want a image or a HTML. I would say just go for an image because you're creating your word puzzle or book on Canva. And then you're going to select your case option. So if you want uppercase or lowercase letters or if you want them both to be mixed. Now you're just going to search, um, enter the words you want. So this is a color. Uh, word search so let's just add a few colors you're just gonna write down the colors nothing fancy you're gonna write a few colors and once you have done that separate each word by a comma below that you're just gonna check this box if you want instructions with your puzzle and then you're gonna click on create my puzzle and now as you guys can see your puzzle has been created so what you're gonna do is just you're just gonna save this image you're gonna save that once you have saved it, you're going to go on to Canva and now you're going to put in your custom size. So our book is 6.25 plus 9.25. Just add 0.25 to both your height and width of your uh, book size because uh, that's called the bleed and that's like the edges of your book. So you're just going to click on create design. And you're going to have this blank empty page. You're going to click on upload media from this device. You're just going to click on this puzzle that you just created. And now you're just going to drag it and drop it over here. Now, once you have done that, you're just going to center it and you can do as much as you want with it. Now, once you have placed it at the center, if you want more decorations, just click on the elements on Canva and search lines. So once you do that, you can just pick some of these very cute little fancy lines 
and then you're gonna place them on the sides of your puzzle so you're just gonna do that like so and you can design it as you like now below that you can write your instructions down of your puzzle and you can see over here once you have added your empty puzzle you can also add your puzzle key so if you click on show answer on your puzzle maker this is going to show you where your word search is so usually word search books have their keys at the end so what you're going to do on canva is you're just going to add page then you're going to go back to your puzzle maker you're going to copy this image paste it over here so once you have pasted your image you're just going to write make it at the center expand it center it again and now you have your key as well as your crossword puzzle now you can decorate the borders or the rest of the page as much as you like i would definitely recommend just using the free elements present on canva because there is a lot of variety that's on here so if you just even take a look at the lines and shape what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this triangle place it at the bottom and you're gonna color it so depending on the overall aesthetic you want to follow i want to follow this 90s kind of grunge aesthetic so i'm just gonna copy and paste this i'm gonna also place it over here i'm just gonna rotate it like that i'm gonna place it at the top as well as the bottom and now you can see we have such a gorgeous little puzzle and you also have the key for the puzzle and just like that you're gonna go on word search again you're going to enter your next title or honestly just skip that and you can even create easier puzzles so if you're creating a uh, word search for kids you can make it nine by nine and then that's going to make a very easy puzzle that kids can solve the optimum size is 15 by 15 so i would say if you're creating an adult puzzle vary your pages between 10 by 10 and 15 by 15 or maybe 16 by 16 because that's going to be the optimum difficulty for your uh, readers so once you've just created more puzzles i'm just going to create one more to show you guys and actually i'm going to make it 15 by 15 now and we can also do this uh use each letter once so all of the words are separated into different you know uh sides of the puzzle or you can also share letters occasionally i think this is the best option because you don't have to put too much thought into it now let's make it all lowercase letters and add our words so our words this time are going to be limes lemons lemonade salt and like that you're going to create your puzzle you are just going to copy this image head on over to canva and if you want your answer keys to be printed right in front of the first puzzle you can do that but i would recommend that all of the answers are present at the end of your book so you're just going to click on the first page and you're going to click on add page so it's going to add a new page that is number two and the solved puzzle that you just created that's going to be moved to number three and if you keep on creating your new puzzles like that uh, it's going to move all of the key puzzles at the end of your book and you don't have to resynchronize it or rearrange your papers so i'm just going to paste my puzzle now that i've pasted it i'm gonna expand it i'm gonna center it and then i'm gonna place some maybe this time i'm gonna place some stars at the edges and then maybe because this is all lemonade and limes i'm gonna add some lemons so you're just gonna click on the elements on canva you're gonna search lemon you're gonna go on graphics and you can see there are so many cute little illustrations that you can add. I'm going to add this one. It's so gorgeous. And all of this designing you can do so easily for free. And now maybe I'm going to add a photo of this lemonade. And you can also change the color. So I'm trying to keep this black and white. I think it looks more, it looks prettier like that. Uh, so I'm just going to change the colors and how you're going to do that is you can see at the top over here there are a variety of colors that are present in this image and I'm just going to click on them and I can just change it like that. So I'm going to change the colors to blacks and grays just to keep my theme well adjusted. I'm going to change it to different shades of gray and there we have it. So just like that we have made this fit into our aesthetic. Resize it. So I'll just place this at the bottom. Actually, I'll move this up over here and I'm going to resize it. I'm going to place this over here. And like that, we have created our second crossword. You're going to go back to your crossword. You're going to click on show answer. You're going to 
right click and then you're going to copy this image. Now what you're going to do is add a page on your last page. So when you're adding keys, add a new page to the last page that you have. And when you're adding a new crossword, add a page to the first or, you know, the previous crossword that you added. So that way you don't have to do any excess arrangement at the end. Like that, we have added a new page. We're going to click on control V and then we have our second crossword solution added. Now we're going to center it. So we're going to make sure it's placed at the center like that. And then you can add more lemons or whatever you want to add. Let's just add this as well. And there you have it. Your second key has been added. And I would recommend that before the first page, you add an introductory page. And before the key page, you're just going to add, once you've created your entire book, at the end of the last crossword, you're going to add one page. Then you're going to click on text. You're going to select any kind of text that you like over here. So you can add a basic looking text or one of these very dynamic texts that they have. So I'll go for this one. I really like this. And then you're going to click on keys or word search keys. Now I'm just going to expand this. I'm going to turn down the font to a appropriate size word search keys. So. Once you do that, you're going to place it at the center of your page or top of your page. I would say go for the center and Canva is going to guide you with these purple lines where your text is present. So yeah, this is the center and now I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it black and then you're just going to add some elements. So you can add some cute little graphics. Now this is very cool. You're going to expand this graphic. Now you might be wondering, this is blocking the text. Just don't worry, follow along and I'll show you guys how you're going to make this fit in perfectly. So once you've done that, the bottom hand is at the bottom of your page. You're going to move this back. So what you're going to do is move your text at the front and then you're going to make this a bit translucent. So like this, it's going to be nice and transparent or translucent and you can see the text it looks so nice and so that is how easy it is to create your word search puzzles and or your book cover uh you're just gonna add double these dimensions so this if it's six by two that's gonna become 12.54 and it's 9.25 it's gonna remain 9.25 you're gonna open the empty page like that and then you're gonna add a background so you're just gonna go on elements you're gonna pick a background just gonna add that and then you're gonna add the text so you're just gonna select any kind that you like you're gonna click on words i'm gonna make this an appropriate size first i'm gonna select the color and then i'm gonna write word search puzzle now once you do that you're gonna zoom in because my text is pretty transparent actually and then you're gonna place it on this side now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a element. I'm going to add a rectangle. So you can see in the lines and shapes, I'm just going to add a square actually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a rectangle and I'm going to place it behind my title. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually make your title pop off a bit. It's going to make your title be more visible if you're using this kind of hollow font like I am. So you might be wondering how, why am I placing this over here? Well, to see where you're supposed to place your text and whatnot, I'm actually just gonna upload the initial template. So this template I showed you guys in the start, you're gonna upload this template on Canva. You're gonna add it, you're gonna make it transparent. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna make it fit to your frame. And this is just the example template, so you can see over here, this is going to be where your front is going to be. So that's where you're going to place your text. And that's how you know how to place your text and how to get started on designing your book cover as well. I also have a separate video on designing your book cover. So I'll link that in the description below. And yeah, that's how easy it is to create word search puzzles for free using Canva and wordsearchpuzzle.discoveryeducation.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.